I want to cover paint effects inside of Maya so that we can use this to create hair for our character. So once in Maya, to get to the paint effects window, if we press 8 on our keyboard, we get our 2D canvas. In paint effects with the 2D canvas, we want to just go to get a brush. So we first go to brush here in our paint effects menu, click on get brush, which will open up our visor. In our visor, we have a whole list of different paint effects that come standard with, with Maya. I'm just going to go down to the hair, and we have a series of hair brushes that we can use. And, I mean, it, it's really experimentation to find out which hair brush works best for you. Um, with paint effects, we only have one undo, so we can canvas undo, or we have to start over, basically, by just clearing the entire canvas. Um, and again, just experiment, see which one works for you, see if what's giving you the full effect of what you're looking for, whether it's thin hair like this, or thin long hair, or something a little more refined. Uh, I'm going to go out and use something a little different. I'm going to use the Punk Mohawk. Um, I typically like the results that I get with the Punk Mohawk. So I have that selected now as my active brush. Uh, you can see that my two colors here, as far as my um, core color, um, and then also my tip color. And what I can do is just start painting and watch the, the hair get built up. And I'm just doing the same stroke over and over again to give a variation to how the hair is going to be. And depending on how we paint the brush, whether it's sort of curled like this or just doing a straight down brush, we can see the different effects of the way the hair is being created. So for some instances, is we may want to just do some um, vertical strokes here like this so that we can create some patches. But then we may also want to do some little swirls for parts of the side of the hair. Um, and you just want to get comfortable with this idea of using the different brushes. Once I have my brushes, the power of paint effects here is that they're all created with alpha channels. So now it's just taking these and saving them off to um, Photoshop or your, your editing program so that you can cut them up or save them off or make any adjustments because, I mean, uh, you may not want orange hair, but the hair that we create or the pattern we create has a lot of contrast so that we can make adjustments to it. So typically what I want to do to save this is I'm going to click right here to open up my render settings. And in my render settings, this is a file output, is that sometimes in paint effects what happens is it will give all my paint effects extensions a Maya IFF, all right? And Photoshop doesn't like Maya IFF a lot of times. I'm just going to go down to PSD because this should save the alpha channel also. Then I'll close this and go to Canvas and do a Save As. When I go to Save As is I'm going to also make sure that my files of type is set to PSD and save this off to a location where I'll be able to find it. Now I can jump back over to <laughs> Photoshop and open that file and now I have my my image and I also have basically no background at all which is acting as my alpha channel. So like I mentioned is when we, we create paint effects inside of Maya is that we can change the color if we choose to inside of Photoshop or our editing program. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail for the background so that I make a selection. Then I'm going to go to my adjustment layers here, and inside my adjustment layers, I'm going to click on hue saturation. With hue saturation, I have the ability to desaturate it, and just with a slight desaturation, we can already see where the brown is. I'm then going to adjust the hue, and we're getting it more into that brown color, and then also adjust the darkness. So with just a simple one adjustment here, is I've gone from bright orange hair, which is for the most part useless to brown hair, which is a lot more flexible. So I can save these off, or save this off as a target or a PSD, or I can edit this even more, making sure that the, the alpha channel is set, and then take this over to my 3D program so that I can create planes to texture my character. 